Welcome back fellow mobile gamer fanatics, I'm my time here to NBA 2K17 and as promised I did say I would be your king of the court video once I had a better idea of what was going on. Now before I do start this video I would like to say that I am getting pretty close to getting a star reset. It should come during this event with any luck it might come on camera. Probably not going to be that lucky but if you do see a star card pop up it shouldn't be a surprise. It's been ages and ages and ages since I got that Gordon Hayward reset and I've played it quite a bit to be fair in between so that should be coming up anyway back to what you all really care about and that's King of the Court now I have taken my time to edit my lineup and I've done this for a reason to give you guys an example of something pretty achievable and attainable probably by most of you out there and I would also like to just say that this was the original tactic I was going to show you and then I'm going to show you something else afterwards which is probably going to be more applicable to people because I do think there was a glitch in the game. I don't know whether it's just me or whether it's server wide or what, but let's go with the first strategy and then we will go back to how you might not need to do this because there is a little glitch that can help you at the moment in this event. In fact, it's technically helping you across the whole game, but you can use it in this event. So, first of all, this is a pretty attainable deck from anybody who has been playing the game for a little while i've got uh, eight epic pros here and i have got six legendary singles and one legendary pro okay now my clay thompson isn't maxed out here my trevor ariza isn't maxed out ideally you would max these kind of cards out and potentially if you've got any spare you know super rares ultra rare enhancements that you're not using you put them on you know kind of like i've done here just to boost a couple of the stats for your cards but this just gives you kind of idea if you've got good supports good team supports especially put those in but i don't so this gives you an idea of what you can do so anyone out there who's been playing the game for a few months can probably replicate something like this you can buy epic pros off the auction house pretty cheap now this is the kind of team you would go for so when we go and play the game click play i'm going to try and show you briefly how this would play out and kind of what you would look to do in order to try and get to the top of the pyramid which is the key to success you need to get to the top of the pyramid that's the most paramount thing getting double games after that like here is second to none so we can't face this game we can see that offense is the biggest key here we look across and we have a look who we got for the offensive side which can give them a run for their money we're going to go with kevin love here we look at rebound and defense quickly who's got the weaker stats overall probably probably is that chancy billet now we'll come here we'll come over here there we go done um what's that dragon gorge no gorn dragage what dragon gorge jesus christ oh sorry gorn dragage it's late okay we win second game rebound offense the offense and we want to try and use one of our single yellow cards if possible so we look quickly we say we've got a 729 and a 736 so we look through okay nobody that can beat them both if i use one of my boosts here boom perfect we've got a winner conley can take can take the win automatically beats him on the oh no i looked at playmaking not rebounding didn't i oops i got a bit lucky there sorry guys one click we move up again paces pull draw same idea we look through offense and playmaking have we got somebody that can do it and get us to plus two let's have a look we've got a 729 and we have a 736 Duh, duh, duh. not really okay let's go for the epic pro get the guaranteed win move on to tier two from the top same again out goes billups in comes rebound and the offense perfect now we will come here and use our epic pro to guarantee us the win and at the top of the pyramid we might get an epic pro but it's alright we've got two people so as long as I don't have a combined for more than about 14,000 we should get the win so here we go we've got two bites at the cherry and we've made it to the top of the pyramid guys okay so we're going to get almost maximum points because we've got a plus two here we made it to the top so times everything 36 points okay that was me live on camera going to the top of the top of the the pyramid using an epic deck and a legendary deck well that was some bad english using some epic pros and legendary singles while being in legendary tier for the event 
yet I was still able to pick from a star board because my exhibition deck is in star plus. So let me pause this, come back in and we'll show you a second game. Okay, and I'm back and I should have cleared up enough space for the purpose of this video. So let's go back in again just to show you exactly the same lineup, everyone. Let's go back in, play another game. Now, same strategy again. Yes, you do have to look at what you're doing. But the idea is you should be able to progress to the top of the period majority of the time as long as you're not greedy and you make sensible decisions. That's basically the key to this. Okay, so you're looking along here. You've got to use an Epic Pro to get this win unless you're going to use your Draymond Green. Now... I prefer to opt to keep in towards the end if you have your legendary pro with you. So let's look at the offense or the playmaking. So we come up here for Evan Turner. We've got 864 and 886. So pretty good stats. Um, now these cards are stat charged, okay, which I'm going to come to in the near future. But let's just say hypothetically they won't stat charge. I'm going to use my best card here. Not that I would do it. I shouldn't use this card. But I'm just trying to show you guys as if I didn't have stat charge cards. Because we're going to come on to that in a moment. And we get the victory. Now, ideally over here, we're going to go for a win. We can see that rebound is a key statistic. On here, it's 705. So you need to find someone that's got decent 716. Let's compare that to the others. Offense and playmaking, 737, 728. Call is 11 up, so he'll win that. 706, 731. Not too good with the playmaking side. Can we give him a boost with the playmaking? No, so we can't win this one. Therefore, we're going to come out, use one of our epic pros to get guarantee us to win. Move up to the third tier from the top. Hopefully, see if we can get a better lineup. Good, good lineup here. Rebounding again. We've got a 688 and a 687 in the middle. Compared to that, to defense and rebound, uh, defense and playmaking, we can see overall there's not too much difference. So let's pick someone who's got the good rebounding. Um, 716 perfect 739 good 706 not great for playmaking but guess what should be enough in the middle here so this is going to be a win for us tier tier 3 complete we now move up to the second tier playmaking versus rebounding same kind of aim again times 2 let's go for times 2 if we can playmaking and rebounding um, we can boost the rebounding if it comes to rebounding so 716 that's fine. And what about playmaking? 695. So what we will do here is we'll use the... Um, no, we won't. I lie. I lie. We will just take the guarantee win with the Epic Pro because we don't need to take the risk. And hopefully on top, we shouldn't get a Legendary Pro. We should get either Epic Pro or Epic Single. Now we'll just throw out anyone to beat James Harden and hopefully that will give us a win. And if not, as you can see by the red numbers, 35 and 18 left, we'll use the last card and old Trevor Ariza here will get the job done for us. So, on camera, fortunately, two back-to-back -back pyramids straight to the top. 36 points earned. And, yeah, it's... I don't want to say it's as simple as that. But, because it does require a little bit of care and attention. Okay, you can't just randomly click. You do need to have a look. You do need to double-check the stats. You do need to actually watch what you're doing on your phone, on your tablet, etc. But you don't need to have an all-star deck to be competitive in this game mode. That is the key point. You do not need to have an all-star deck. Yes, using hot streaks is going to be quite a big factor if you want to challenge for the top. Even if you're looking for some of the lower down rewards like, I don't know, let's come down here, like the, the car into the towns for the pro. 5,000 or getting the double on his own 10,000 you can get into that pretty easily just by playing the game using your bouts when they come available and by getting yourself to the top of the pyramid I said it, it makes a huge amount of difference for you getting to the top and getting those double points overall now that is how I was going to recommend people play it that is the lineup that is the strategy I would use to give you a reasonable chance of being successful the majority of the time however we can go autofill and this is what i was going to talk to before what is a very very good strategy is to stat charge your cards like here this ben simmons is because he you can't see here but little blue at the bottom he has some stat charging left so stat charge your cards because you're going to come up against cards which aren't stat charged you'll just come up against the basic pros so stat charging will give you a bonus now here's the key thing okay here's the key thing guys you might have noticed this you might not i will click on my cards i will click on legendary 
and I will just start to show you. Okay, Maurice Cheeks here. Let's click on improve. He's got one charge in offense, one charge in defense, one charge in rebounding, one charge in playmaking. Okay, let's have a look on Draymond Green. Same thing again one in offense, one in defense, one in rebounding, one in playmaking. And just in case I'm unlucky, we'll go with Rick Smith as well. Okay, let's not use Rick Smith because we need, in fact, we, we will. Okay, so he's got one charge in offense. He's got none in defense, so we'll put a charge in very quickly for him. None in rebounding, so we'll put a charge in. And one in playmaking. So you've seen three guys there which have all been stat charged, okay, once. Now, let's go back to King of the Court. We edit our lineup, make sure we got our best team in, proceed. Now, I'm going to try and win, try and get to the top using my best team and as you've seen, using stat charging to help me when it comes to legendary pros versus legendary pros, etc. Now, remember that, we'll talk about the end of the video. So, times two here. Let's pick any of our guys. We're looking at defense, who's got strong defense. Smith, in you go. 1524 there because he's stat charged. Apologies, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. So, victory is ours. Lovely. Perfect. Stat charge come in handy. Next bout, boom, again. Stat charge looks like it's going to be. Um... <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a sneezing fit. Sorry, people. Okay, looks like it's going to come to our aid. We'll use Draymond Green here. In it goes. We haven't actually had a pretty uh, <laughs> we've had a pretty bad pull of the cards we potentially have available. So this, this might not be the best way for me to go about it. Okay, defense and playmaking. We need to use this Trevisa card at some stage. So playmaking is not good enough. So we cannot use you yet. Instead, we are going to use Moist Cheeks. Take the whim. Hopefully get a good a good matchup in a minute to use this Trevor okay here we go so offensive rebounding rebounding okay so rebounding is 1282 not great playmaking is better than that single that's a single star Dennis Rodman by the way and the offense is miles better so what we'll do is we will say we can't increase the playmaking the what was it rebounding is lower um offense would be good playmaking is fine we are 24 points better off there and we are only 19 points worse off there so whatever whatever side is called we can beat Robin there so that's good for us this is one final match up at the top let's go for this victory single star card again Thank you very much. We'll have to use both of our epic cards. No problems. We've got the win. Now, bear in mind that I have used that Rick Smith, Draymond Green, and Maurice Cheeks. Managed to use all three, which is actually pretty handy for educational purposes of this video in that game. So what we do is we collect our rewards. And what you would expect is me to have to go back and start stat charging people. So you might say, well, you might as well go stat charge them four, three, four times. So you don't have to do it every game. And you're going to get plenty of fodder to do so from playing the event. Well, let's go back to my cards. As you can see from Maurice, none of his charges have gone down. And we did use him last game. Same with Draymond Green. And the same with Rick Smith. Okay, now I cannot suggest any reason why this is the case. I do not have a clue. I don't know if this is part of the bug, which with the card, if it's something else that just happened when they've repatched or whatever. But all I can say at the moment, guys, you should be doing this. It doesn't matter what you're using, any card you're using, just that charge them, just the one charge at the moment. They will stay there permanently, okay? Blake Griffin here. The reason why he isn't is because I've used him before and his charge got used in my season okay so i'd charge up all my people in the season mode he's obviously got called off for offense for the very last game for me to get that victory in my last star season and i haven't used a card since then this whole server's gone down blah 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 
come back up, come back online, they've extended the event, and now this kind of glitch or bug seems to be in place. So it's not cheating people, all it is, it's just stat charging your cards, but you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck here. So guys, go out there, stat charge card you're using in King of the Court. Stat charge every single card you're using in Exhibition, just the once, okay? Just the one, one epic, uh, one epic, not even one epic, sorry, let me come back and show you guys, just in case you're not too sure. One uncommon, or one common card, is all you need, Blake Griffin, improve, charge, any uncommon card, any common, uncommon or common card, they both provide the one charge, stat charge, done. Okay, if you're wondering how come I've not got cards showing up, to get a card to show up, if it's defense, it's specialization highlighted by the cross needs to be with the corresponding attributes. So if it's rebounding, it will only show up people whose specialization is on rebounding. And obviously you can then go for your commons and commons, commons and uncommons to find out what people you've got that are applicable. So there you go, guys. That's king of the court for you. With that information, you should have absolutely no problems getting to the top every time. If you want to do use your best team, auto fill, stick in those cards, stat charge them up, go in and play, play, play. You should find yourself getting to the top quite easy because, like in my lineup, for example, all these um, star, single star cards, which are stat charged, are going to be better than the single star cards. They're going to be a lot of the legendary cards because that stat charging is going to help beat the legendary pros. My star cards are strong enough to not even charge. They're still strong enough to win without any trouble. And I've even given my epics a little bit of a boost just to help just in case. You don't really need to, but hey, it's only four cards I'm wasting. I can get them back pretty easily doing the event. So get on top of that, people. If you want to put epics, put legendaries, stat charge those and you'll have an easy one, I promise you, it'll be, well, when I say easy, you should have a very, very high success rate, okay, you see me there get to the top three times using, using epics and legendaries, which weren't all stat charged, okay, you did see those, that original one, those legendary single cards were not stat charged, but if you were to charge them, you will just walk to the top of that pyramid, okay, I promise you guys, give it a go, thank me afterwards, thank me at the end of the event, say thank you very much for helping me my time to get to the top to stop falling short getting 12 14 points to get those 32s 36s and those beloved 40 points and allow me to get the cards that i was going for and if that is the case please leave a like just so i know that it helped you thank you people i'm going to shoot out now take care see you all soon